Hey, Jesse, it's Kenny. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I called you just in the nick of time, and uh, we're on the air right now, just so you know. Uh, oh, okay, awesome. You're actually, like, really lucky that I turned around and happened to catch my phone on. Oh, okay. Well, I, I was just hoping that you got my text, so I did give you a heads up. Just Okay. No, uh, thanks. All right. So what's going on? Oh, I'm good. Uh, it's great to hear you, and uh, looking forward to this big show on Sunday, and, you know. Oh, yeah, the UWS Fixin Show. It's going to be amazing. This is Fixin 4. So, you've been, of all the ladies that are scheduled to be in this year, you're the only one that's been to all three events. You even been to a show when you was living in Florida at one time. Oh, yeah. So... I flew up for that, for the trilogy. Yes, so, I mean, now that you look back at it, reflect on it, I mean, how does it feel being back for the fourth installment of this event this Sunday? You know what? I'm really excited to be a part of this show. There's a whole lot of awesome competition on there. Not too much competition for me because, of course, I am the wild ass Southern girl. Most of these girls are local girls. I'm an international girl. So I think I pretty much got this queen of the bluegrass bagged and tagged. I won it last year. I'm going to win it again. And you know what? I'm honored to be in the ring with these women, but I'm going to have much more of an honor pinning them than that. Speaking of queen of the bluegrass, which you won from Amazing Maria last year, in order to retain that crown, you have to compete in the battle warrior which from my understanding is going to be the semi main event and then whoever wins the battle royal will go up against hardcore heather owens for that vixens championship how do you feel you being the reigning queen that you have to go through this battle royal i honestly don't think that i should have to be in the battle royal my opinion is the Battle Royal should be for the number one contender to go against me for the Queen of the Bluegrass, be it that I am the standing Queen of the Bluegrass. But it doesn't matter, you know, Battle Royal, cage match, kendo stick on a pole, I don't really care what they throw at me. You know, I am the daughter of the Wild Out Southern Boy. I'm the second generation female sensation, the Wild Out Southern Girl. They ain't going to throw nothing or no one at me that's going to keep me from winning the, my crown back. And then, then I'm going against... Heather Owens, that's, that's who I'm going against in the cage, right? That's right. And then I'm going to have the belt, too. So I'm going to have a tiara, and I'm going to have my belt, and then I'm going to just sit happily on my own ground. I mean, that's the only way you can go about it. I mean, just go with the flow, take whatever is in front of you, and, I mean, you're, you're a competitor, you're a fighter, you're a champion, you're established, you're one of the best you make a name for yourself, and everybody wants what you have, and, you know, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. You of course. Gotta... So, um, I asked Haley Shadows and Amazing Maria a couple of days this particular question, and I will ask you this, uh, considering that uh, it's going to be a lethal lottery to determine who faces who, you know, one-on-one -on -one action leading up to the battle royal if jesse bell smothers were to hand pick it up on it who you would you like to go up against one-on-one -on -one? doesn't matter i really am completely indifferent because it doesn't matter who gets steps into the ring with me they're going to get knocked down real quick right to the point she takes on anybody so um uh, felony yeah Fox. these girls do this like once a week in a small area. I travel the country four or five days of the week. I'm on top of this. I'm at the top of my game and can't nobody knock me off of it. All right. And for people that wants to check out Jesse Bell Smothers, it is this Sunday. It is at the Georgetown Bingle Hall, 150 Edwards Avenue. And uh, usually the doors open at 6, but because this is one of the biggest shows of the year, doors are open and uh, 5.30 for the meet and greet. And um, if you, <laughs> she'll be nice She'll be nice to you at the meet and greet. Maybe. I might be nice. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. She'll I'm kind of a bad dude. Yeah. Not this whole I have to compete in the battle royal thing. 
Yeah, I, I'm sure you will have a, a word with Miss Fox about that uh, as you enter the building. Oh, I have a word or two, or about ten, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so the meet and greet is oh. at 5.30. Uh, the bell time is at 6.30. Uh, everybody, if you are in the Georgetown area or just in Kentucky at all, please check it if out. If you're in the Lexington area, if you're in the Cincinnati area, if you're in Huntington, West Virginia, Ashland, Kentucky, I mean, if you're a women's wrestling fan and you are in the state of Kentucky, and I'm talking Louisville, I'm talking Lexington, Bowling Green, Bardstown, Elizabethtown, it ain't that far of a drive. You're going to see the best female competitors in the ring on the same night. And you can't get that anywhere else in the state of Kentucky other than the United Wrestling Federation in Georgetown, Kentucky at the Georgetown Bingo Hall. So y'all need to come out. If you believe in uh, wrestling, you believe in good wrestling, you believe in good re women's wrestling, then you're going to be there. And y'all need to find me on Twitter. It's at one Jesse Bell, J-E-S-S-I-E-B-E-L-L-E. -S -S -E -E -E. Follow me on Instagram because y'all know you want to see my pictures. It's at one Jesse Bell 85. And then you can always find me on Facebook, but I'm pretty popular, so I can't add you, so you're just going to have to subscribe. But, darling, I'm at USA Championship Wrestling down here in Tennessee, and I'm about ready to go um, cause some trouble. So I'm going to have to let you go. All right, well, thank you for your time, Jesse. I appreciate you, and uh, have fun tonight, and I'll see you this Sunday. All righty, bye-bye.